This is for my upcoming show, and they're all done with Florida plates. On any given day, you can find Rolando Chang Barrero here. These works are all of people in recovery. At his art gallery in West Palm Beach, the walls here with much more color and meaning than the ones that surrounded him 13 years ago. I was uh, suffering from addiction from early on. Rolando spent years in and out of jail on drug charges. He's now clean and owns the Box Gallery. Wednesday, a federal appeals court ruled the state of Florida cannot bar felons like Rolando, who have done their time, from voting, simply because they can't afford to pay the outstanding fines and fees connected to their cases. I was excited. Um, I, well, yeah, I screamed, yay! <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a win. The ruling coming after Amendment 4 was passed by Florida voters in 2018, allowing ex-felons to vote after completing all the terms of their sentence. Governor Ron DeSantis pushed back, eventually signing a bill requiring felons to pay back all court fees before being allowed to vote. Some felons call that essentially a poll tax. And that was based more on voter suppression than anything else because the state of Florida voted unanimously through the amendment to give us our rights back. Wednesday, the judges called the bill unconstitutional because it, quote, punishes those who cannot pay more harshly than those who can, which Rolando believes is mostly people of color. We all have the same right, but some of us can afford it a lot easier and others can't. He says felons who have done their time just want an equal voice. They want to know that they count and that they matter. Today is a win for the people of Florida.